Hey guys, so, um, I know it's been a long time since I've, uh, uploaded anything, uh, even though I have no subscribers yet, but in case you guys go, you know, back to look at things once, if you subscribe, um, I'm just, I, like, I always say I'm gonna do stuff, and I never do it because it just, sometimes it slips my mind, or I want to, and I've got so many other things going on, so yeah, so I'm gonna do this now. Um, that way I can get stuff going out to you guys. So don't mind the hair or my face. Um, I just colored it, so gotta get rid of those grays, you know? Um, so there were a couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, first thing is that I got a grays box. Um, I got a free box and free shipping for my first box so I could try it out. And, uh, it was really good. Like, I like the stuff that was in it, so I kept my subscription. I am getting another box. Um, the free box that I got came with four, uh, little grays packs. Let me grab one here. Okay. So, it came with four of these cute little guys. And I have to hold this one closed because this is my last one and my little guy decided that he was going to get into it and open it. And a couple of them fell everywhere, but um, there's, as you can see, there's still a good amount. Um, this one is called the Booster Seeds and it has sunflower, pumpkin, and flax seed. And uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm very excited. I did try all the other ones. Uh, let me get you the box so I can show you guys what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to try and record on my laptop from now on um, because it's a little bit easier. I think the picture is better, but okay, so this is the Gray's box. Very cute, and it comes just like this. I'm covering my address, sorry guys. Um, comes just like this in the little label, and it is nice and sealed up, and then, and okay guys, do not open it label side up <laughs> that's upside down i did that oh my gosh i'm like why does this look so weird yeah okay so anyway so you open it like this I'm sure everything is backwards right now and it's got these cute four little areas uh, <laughs> and these little guys sit in here nice like this and so this was the four free ones this is um this is my first sample, and then I'm waiting. My next one coming is going to give me eight of these little guys, and uh, I'm really excited about it. And it comes with this cute little welcome thing here, and um, so it just says welcome, and then, so basically you go in there and you customize your boxes. So you say, um, I can't remember what the one that, like, to say that you don't want it. Looks like it says bin here, but I don't know. And then it's try, like, or love. So you get four different ratings, um, and you get to decide. You tell us what, tell them what you like, and then you get, um, like, you can deliver whenever you want. Like, you don't have to go uh, weekly, bi-weekly, whatever. My next box, I got this box, uh, I can't remember, probably, like, uh, the end of, came in the beginning of February. That's what, it came uh, around the first. Um... And my next one's not coming until March, around March 8th, because that's when I, I try to schedule it around bills, because then that's when they, they take the money from the account. So, um, so yeah, and then, uh, basically, it comes with, like, this cute little nutrition, uh, label thing, and all the nutrition facts. So, um, one of the ones that I got was turtle pie. And uh, it comes with all the, you know, calories and all that fun stuff. And then tells you what's in it. So, the oh, and it has best buy dates. So, like, if you don't eat them, like, you know when they expire, which is, I think is really great. Um, so, turtle pie came with pecan nuts, or pecan, however you guys say it. Vanilla pumpkin seeds. Belgian salted caramel milk chocolate buttons, which were amazing. They were so good. Um, and mini cocoa cookies, which were really cute. They were they were fun. And then um, the booster seeds, which I just showed you, which is just sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and golden flax seeds. Uh, the cheese board. I loved the cheese board. It was so delicious. It came with cheese-flavored cashews. I love cashews. Um, cheddar cheese 
uh, bruschetta, which was really delicious. Or, I'm sorry, bruschetta, some people. I'm, I'm Italian, so that's how it comes out. Bruschetta, I can't say. It's hard for me to say, oh yeah, bruschetta. <laughs> um, and then baked herb bites, those were good too. Um, and then the last one, I don't remember like saying, I think I said I would try it. Um, so that one was the Butterscotch Popcorn Flapjack, and it was really, really good. Um, it's like rolled oats and then like whatever flavors, um, that you like get. And they were actually, I didn't think I would like them, they were really good, and then my kids liked them too. I shared everything with my children, which I tend to do. Um, so, um, I have a little perk for you guys, if I could find out where I put it, where the heck did I put it? I thought I had it. I don't know where I put it. Um, let me see. It's on here. Yes, here. Okay. So I have a little perk for you guys. Um, you will get your first and your fifth box for free, and there's no commitment. You can cancel your thing at any time. So after your first box, you decide you don't like them. It's too much money. Whatever. Um, you just cancel it, and it's you. They're they're, they're gone. I mean sad to say, but so grays.com is where you would go, and then um. I have, they gave me a code, and the code is my first name, Lani, L-A-H-N-I, uh, letter M as in Mary, uh, five, six, and the letter B. It's all one whole thing. I don't know, I think this is backwards, but that's, if you can see it. Um, so, um, really I don't get much by giving this reward code to you guys. I only get a dollar off my next box. And, um, I can actually choose to get the dollar discount or I can give a dollar donation to the Gray's School of Farming, which I think is really cool. It helps support something, so I'll probably end up doing that. Um, but the cost of the boxes varies, um, depending on, um how big your box is, like, um, my next box of eight would be, I think it's, it's eight ninety nine or ten ninety nine. I can't remember, but, um, they, I was gonna cancel, and they asked me to continue, and I would get the next box for eight ninety nine. So, two dollars off, and so I think it's ten ninety nine. Um, but I decided to do it. Um, I really, I really enjoyed it, and then I figured I would just schedule it for around, like, when we have the money for it and stuff. Um, but they're great little snacks, uh, little packs, and they, basically they design them to, like, keep you full and stuff, so you're not, like, always going out and, uh, it got crushed. <laughs> um, so you're not always going out and, like, eating garbage, which I'm trying not to do. I, I really want to lose weight. Um, so... Yeah, that's about it. I don't want to record too long. I have some things to do. My husband is currently working on a, one of his woodworking projects. Um, he is refinishing a dresser, and we're going to use it as a TV stand because we have a TV stand, and the little guy can reach, and he likes to push buttons. So he's constantly turning the cable box on and off, the Xbox, the DVD player. He's trouble. So <laughs> um, the higher one will basically... Uh, make sure that he doesn't touch everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about was I bought a Mr. Coffee, and I like Mr. Coffee. Uh, my whole family, we've like gone down the line of Mr. Coffee products. Um, I currently have a 12 cup coffee maker from Mr. Coffee, and I love it. Brews great coffee. I clean it out uh, probably about twice a month. I usually do the vinegar cycle about twice a month. Uh, we brew a lot of coffee here. And I love it. No complaints. So I really, really, I heard about cold brewing coffee. I don't know if anybody, if you, uh, anybody's ever seen that, but if you go, uh, YouTube it, um, there's a guy, like, he shows you what to do. Um, and so I really wanted to try it, and he does it with a French press. And I've heard rave reviews about French presses, like, your coffee tastes better, it's more full-bodied, you get good flavor from it. Um, and so I decided I wanted to try it. So... I went out, and because it was a good price, it was $20, $19.99 at Target, I got a Mr. Coffee. I, I returned it, so I don't have the package. I really wanted to have the package when I did this for you guys, but um, I, I had to return it just because it was driving me nuts, and it was money just sitting around being wasted. So anyway, I bought this Mr. Coffee French press. It came with a little coffee scoop and a milk frother. Milk frother. I was so excited. And 
they tell you when you wash your French press, it's got this like little three-layer plunger, and it's a mesh underlining thing, um, a metal thing with like a spoolie. I don't know how to explain it. I wish I kept it so I could show you guys, but um, basically it's got three parts and the plunger. Um, oh my goodness. The, so ba okay, it all goes together. And they say you're supposed to take it apart when you wash it so you can get in all the little areas and get it real clean so your coffee stays tasting good. Um, sorry that I'm shaking the camera. The laptop is sitting in my lap. <laughs> um, but So you're supposed to take it apart. Well, after a while, it started to break. Like Every time I tried to put it back together, it wouldn't screw on right. It was getting all messed up. And finally, I just I had it. I could not deal with it anymore. Um, I ended up picking up a Bodum. Um, I haven't used it yet, but crossing my fingers. Um, so yeah, so once, once the um, depressor plunger thing broke, I'm like, okay, you know what, forget it. I'm going to use um, the milk frother so I can frost, froth my milk, and uh, I decided I was going to have a try and make it a latte and froth my milk and be fancy, uh, try to recreate Starbucks so I could kick my habit, <laughs> but never used it. Well, I pushed it on to, like, you know, see what it does when we got it, and then I hadn't used it since then, and it was, mm, like, three, four months that I didn't, you know, use it. So, I push the thing, and I'm, like, ready to froth my milk, doesn't turn on, and I'm like, what the heck? So, okay, maybe batteries. You know, they always put in kind of batteries when you get something, so I change the batteries. I'm so excited. Here we go. Push the button nothing. So not only did this thing work one time, I'm like, what the heck, Mr. Coffee? So I decided that instead of taking it back to the store, I would try to contact Mr. Coffee to see maybe I did something wrong. Maybe something wasn't right. Maybe they could help me. I could not for the life of me figure out how to contact them. I signed up for their email. I, you know, tried to see if like maybe there was a way I could email them or call them or freaking snail mail and write them. I couldn't find it. I don't know why. Probably should have looked on the box. I didn't think to do that. I don't know why I didn't think to do that, but I didn't. So I couldn't get a hold of them. I returned it to the store. Needless to say, I'm done. No French press from Mr. Coffee. Um, so that was my horrible experience. Um, that's about it. Um, and then I'm, I'll probably be making uh, another video soon. There's lots of stuff I want to talk about. I'm like really excited about things. Um, I've been trying to get into makeup and um, doing like more makeup and stuff. So I got like a huge haul of makeup and um, sorry, I was itchy. Um, and so I want to start doing stuff like that. I probably won't like do like tutorials or anything because I'm really bad at that. But I will definitely show you guys what I picked up and whether I like it or not. And, uh, yeah, I'm, at, oh, and I'm making bows. Look at how cute. Yay! I made this for St. Patrick's Day. Um, and I think it'll look really, really good in my freshly dark brown dyed hair. Yay! <laughs> um, so I will be making and selling these and, you know, just being a stay-at-home mom. Like, I probably won't sell it, like, three bucks. I mean, would you pay three bucks for that? I would. It's pretty cute. I've paid more for other things, which I'm ashamed to say. Um, but, you know, it takes a lot to make these, and at first I was like, man, these people charge a lot. But when you think about the time that goes into it, and the, like, money you spend, uh, and my child is up, so I have to go get him, but I will come back, and we will talk about it. Thanks for watching!